Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from around the world. It's Alan from WallStreetToEasyStreet.com. What we're going to look at today is how we go about setting up our charts in NinjaTrader to uh, trade the Forex price action scalping method that is taught by uh, Bob Volman. Now, I use uh, his basic method that I've modified with, to fit my own personality. You'll have to do the same uh, for you. So, the uh, month of October uh, just ended, and we managed to bring in 585 pips for the month. So, the method is uh, is sound, and it does uh, you know work uh, real well. So, let's get started in uh, how we're going to create our charts. When you open NinjaTrader, you end up with a control center. Now, there's a lot of videos on YouTube already that's put out by NinjaTrader on uh, how to build the charts and how to modify the charts. And anything you want to know, they've got videos on there. But what we're going to focus on is just specifically what we need for our method. So the first thing you need is an account connection. Um, I use MB Trading for a broker. So... You're going to have to come up here and, and uh, connect to a data feed to uh, start receiving some data. So to uh, create an account, you click on Tools. You come over here to Account Connection and click on Account Connection. And my data feeds are already in here. Also, you have the simulated data feed from NinjaTrader, Market Replay, Kinetic End of Day, Free, and... Uh, if you want to add a new data feed, then you're just going to click the Add button. And you're going to come down here and click Next. Um, put in whatever name you want to call it. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, pick who the provider is going to be. So, you know, in my case, I would use MB Trading. Backup data. If you're going to use a backup data feed, you can pick one of those. Um, you're going to check that you want it to connect on startup. If you're using MB as your data feed, you're going to want to use them for your, uh, check the box here to use them, their servers. And uh, then click the next button. You're going to put in your username, your password, and that you want to connect to a live server. Then you want to uh, load the navigator window on connection. We'll go over the navigator window in just a minute. And then you also want to, uh, well, it's an option to check use snapshot data for real time level one. Now, I prefer to have this box checked. Um, it's totally up to you whether or not you want it. It's just a matter of how the data is filtered. And then when you click next, it'll go out and create the uh, account connection. Okay. So once you have your account connection, then you can restart. And it'll automatically be connected to whatever data feed you had uh, just created. Okay. Now that we have our account connection, which you will see down here in this bottom corner here where you're connected to. So it says here, currently I'm connected to MB Trading. Now we need a chart. So we're going to go to Tools. Or excuse me, File, New, Pick Chart. And we're going to focus on the euro dollar. So we're going to double click on the euro dollar. It has to be in this window for the chart to work. So euro dollar. Then we're going to come up here. And here you have different options of what you want. Of course, we're trading a tick chart. And we're going to put 70 in here. And um, the template. You would just have default if you're just starting out. Um, I've modified the default one. So we'll pick this template here because it's just a blank template. And that's what you'll see when you get started. And then we're going to hit the OK button. OK. So here's our basic chart.
All right, so now we have a basic 70 tick chart. So we still have to do some slight modifications to it to get it to how we want it set up. <clears throat> the uh, first thing that we uh, want to do is we want to set our horizontal axis to a two hour time frame. Now, the markets are closed right now, so you just have to remember that when you set this time frame, you set it when the market has been moving. So the best time to set this horizontal axis, and you can set it just by dragging it back and forth, the best time to set it is usually around 10 o'clock, where you have the 8 to 10 o'clock Eastern Time U.S. session, or usually a 3 to 5 time if you're in the European session, 3 to 5 in the morning Eastern Time. Uh, either one of those is a good time to set it, and really what you're looking for is when you have a lot of data coming in, and that's when you want to set your two hours of data. So, you know, assuming that it would be like, you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time, then I would come in, I would slide this back until I have about two hours of data showing across my horizontal axis here. Now, once that's set, <clears throat> You never have to touch that again. You want to leave it where it is. If you do uh, move it, doesn't matter. Just try to get it back to how the candles appeared when you did have it set. And you can always set it every day or recheck it uh, during the uh, U.S. trading session or that early European session. So that's important because if you try to set, say, two hours of data during the Asian market when there's not much going on, you'll have like... 50 candles on your chart and that's not what you want you want two hours of good data on the chart all right we also want to uh, compress this vertical axis here down a little bit and you'll notice if I click the F here on the corner it goes back to normal so this will be the normal and with the normal view there's a lot of range between the top and the bottom of the uh, candles without really much price movement. So I've already made another uh, video where I've talked about the importance of uh, compressing the vertical axis. So you'll have to watch it for more detail. So basically we're going to come up here and we're going to drag this down. Not too much, but we want basically about 80 to 100 uh, pip range so we would go from 25 here at the bottom to maybe about 2580 here at the top um, you don't want to compress it to the point that it's way flat so just figure about 80 to 100 pips is the range that you want it <clears throat> now we can also go here to properties and go to um, where it says your plot your horizontal and vertical grid lines double click on those and change them to false hang on a second here it's a market rollover time change those to false because we don't need those lines on the chart Remember, the less information you have on your chart, the less confusion you're going to have. If it's not something that adds value, we don't want it on the chart. I usually get rid of the scroll bar. It's something else we don't ever use. Okay. Now, it's kind of... Um, a pain to, to compress this all the time so the good thing about ninja trader is we can always add an indicator to do that for us so we're going to go down here to indicators and we're going to go down here to chart chart space I have a chart scale or chart space either one and we'll double click on it to add it and then we're going to add our tick range in here to 80 <clears throat> hit apply and that'll keep this set at 80 pips roughly 
then we're going to add our EMA. Something I also do is, you see where it says chart scale up here now because we've added that indicator? Let me open this up a little bit to 60. Looks a little bit better with our current chart we're making. Normally you want 80 to 100. I like to uh, come over here to where it says label. Double click and delete that label because I don't want that label on the chart. It's just more confusion. Then we're going to add our EMA. Change that to 20. Get rid of that label. All right, and uh, one more thing I like to add is the round numbers. Okay, I had to pause it there again. We're running uh, out of our time limit for YouTube. So I'm trying to be a little faster. Um, we want the round numbers on there because prices uh, tend to pause there at round numbers. So it's always good to know. And that's really all we need for to set up our charts. So there we go. There's our chart set up. Once we have our chart set up, we also want to add a time and sales block. So we'll go over here and we'll add time and sales. Move this out of the way. We don't need it now. All these screens, you can put them however you want to. So we're going to want to add a time and sales and we want to link these together. So we'll pick blue and we'll pick blue here. And that way you can see this change to Euro dollar. So now we have our data coming in on our chart plus on our time and sales here. Now, if we're using the uh, full version of Ninja Trader, then we have the chart trader option. So we come up here and click on chart trader and we'll be able to enter and exit our orders right here with chart trader. So you can pick your account and what your ATM strategy is going to be. And that's really uh, all there is to it as far as what, how we set up our charts for Forex price action scalping. Uh, we talked about the navigator window earlier. This is the navigator window again. I like to have the time and sales up for um, from my data provider as well. That way I make sure I'm getting uh, good data and can see exactly what's going on just in case there's a discrepancy somewhere you never know. So that's really it. That's all we need to uh, be able to scalp the markets. So I hope you all enjoyed the video here and uh, feel free to ask any questions. So thanks and have a good day.